Hey guys, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. For this video today, I wanted to show you all of the things that I got when I was in Paris that weren't thrifted or vintage. So I'm gonna be showing you those today. Let's get started with all of the fun stuff that I got on my trip to Paris. I wanted to show you guys my oud. I just got this top. Actually, this is one of the things that I got when I was um, in Europe. I don't normally shop at Urban Outfitters anymore, but I totally got suckered in because there was like this crazy 50% off sale or something going on. And I was waiting for my husband at Haviana's who was shopping for flip flops and I was like just wandered in. But I really like it because it's red and I love red. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. It's just a nice basic. It does have a little like ruffle here at the bottom, which is really cute. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I paired it with this pleated skirt that you guys saw me thrift in my Come Thrift With Me. And then I decided to kind of go for it with my jewelry today. Well, I wear these stackers all the time that I got from my friend at Valley of the Dawn Jewelry. She's amazing and hopefully you guys will meet her one day. She also helped make my wedding ring. I got the middle part on Etsy and then my friend added the bands around it. This is a raw diamond, so it's not cut. Um, and then you guys have seen, this is my, um, my great grandmother's vintage turquoise sterling silver ring. Um, and then I just got sent this beautiful little band with some little diamonds in it from Majuri. I think that's how you say it, Majuri, Majuri. Um, they are generously gifted it to me and like I'm normally not a blingy like diamond person. But I thought that this is really cute how there's just the two tiny little diamonds right there and I like how it's just open. And then they did send me this really cute little necklace. So that's my jewelry today and my oud. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into what I got. My husband bought these for me before we went and I literally wore them the whole entire time. They're my easy peasies. So yeah, these glasses are great. I will make sure to link them in the description box. First thing I wanna show you is these super cute shoes that I got while I was in Paris. They are called Minelli, and they have a cute little like croc skin look to them and this chunky black heel. I like the chunky look. I call them my hooves. And I think they're about 120 euro, kind of expensive, but we did have like a shopping budget that we saved for before we went. So I felt free to purchase things like that that I wouldn't normally probably buy. I know that Everlane slash my favorite brand ever uh, has a similar pair and so they're very similar to this except they don't have the massive heel. I think it's a bit shorter um, which actually might work better for some of you guys um, if you don't want like a really tall heel. So I will put the Everlane shoe in the description box. They come in a ton of different colors too. When we were in Montmar in France we happened upon this cute little store called Leon and Harper and they had so much cute stuff, but what I really gravitated towards was these clogs. And I've been wanting to get a pair of clogs for quite a while, and I think it was just because I had the budget to shop when I was there that I just decided to pull the trigger. They're genuine leather, they're wooden bottoms. I couldn't find the link for these, you guys, I'm so sorry. But I did find a really, really similar shoe like this uh, that's on Amazon. These were 96 euro. The one on Amazon I think is like 50 bucks. So I'll make sure to link that below. Okay, so <laughs> what would a Paris trip be without getting a beret? I totally caved you guys and I got two different berets that's how you're supposed to wear them isn't it cute anyways so now I have a little bit more of a variety besides just my bright red one that you guys always see me wear when in Paris you know get a freaking beret I really wanted to go to Cezanne when I was there Cezanne is this super chic 
Parisian store. Um, and it's just like the quintessential French girl style. So we we arrived at Cezanne. There was a queue to get into the store, and so we had to wait in line. And but we eventually got in, and it was really cute. I thought I was gonna find a dress and take a beautiful Parisian dress home, but unfortunately, I didn't find any that were in my size um, that were the styles that I liked. But I found this little chore jacket, which I had been eyeing online for quite a while. And so I thought, what a better time to get it than now. Actually, I think it even goes with this outfit that I'm wearing right now. It's a thicker material, so it's kind of like wearing a jean jacket, but not a jean jacket. And I actually even, I buttoned it up all the way at some points. I think it was a hundred and... It was 100 euro. I do have a link for this one. I will put in the description box. Um, they do come in other colors too. Okay, so when I was in Spain, I ended up getting these gaudy gold earrings. I think they're really fun and cute. So last but not least, I went to my friend Marie's store in Paris and she owns a super cute little shop with all French made goods. So everything in there is French made which is awesome because you know all of the tourist shops in France mostly just sell things made in you know other countries and cheap things that I don't guess you just don't really need. But um, Marie had some awesome things so I just want to show you guys a little clip of me and Marie in the store. Hey, so I'm with Marie. Hi. And how long have you owned at the last supermarket? It's been two years. And you opened it by yourself? Yes. Wow. All alone. Yeah. That's amazing. I thought there was something missing in the souvenir French market, so that's why I opened the shop. Yeah. So what's different about the supermarket? Well, everything here is made in France, so there's a little bit of different things. There's the very traditional things that you can find in France, the soap, the tops, Breton tops, stuff like that. There's a little bit of vintage. Mm -hmm. There's like the souvenir that you will find anywhere else, but here they're made in France. And there's little uh, products by different designers too. What? what are some of your favorite things? So this is like my favorite thing. It's easy, easy to bring back, very useful. It will stretch a lot, so that's yes. good. Then maybe my second favorite is the Breton top. Mm -hmm. It's the very traditional Breton top. The original? The original. It's made in Brittany. It's 100% um, cotton and it's it doesn't move or anything. I love it because I wear it all the time and it's, it's very durable. So this is my second favorite. And then my third favorite are these postcards. And uh, they had an old stock lying around of like three thousands of them. They're from the 1950s. Oh, okay. So these are actually vintage. And they're my favorite thing. They're pretty cheap and there's a lot of different ones. And they're printed on photo paper, which is pretty rare. And I love that. Well, thank you so much for just inviting me here and thank you for it's lovely by. being here lovely meeting you and I love your shop well thank you so much for stopping by so I guess if you guys want go follow her on Instagram at La Supermarket <laughs> La Supermarket au revoir. All right. au revoir. Au revoir. yeah one of my favorite things that I got at La Supermarket was these earrings can you see these they're so cute and I've worn them a ton already. I also got some really cute hair clips. I got this one. I got this one. And I also got a white one, which I can't find right now, but I know it's somewhere. <laughs> so my other favorite thing that I got from Marie was this French net bag. So we used this a ton on our trip and um, it actually expands and it gets really big and you can put a ton of stuff in there. So I really, really liked that. Also, I love the pop of color um, that it brings to your outfit. And Marie kindly gave me one of these postcards of Paris. And then this postcard I got because I thought it was really cute. And then she has like fun little chocolates that you can get. And this one has a really cute little like Mona Lisa. I got another one of these but I ate it and it was really really good. <laughs> so many of you had asked me about how my Bob's for Dog sandals worked out on my trip. And so basically I just wanted to let you guys know they were absolutely amazing. The most comfortable shoe that I brought. I at one point 
had to run uh, a couple times and I ran in these guys through the streets of Granada which are like cobblestone. I like ran down a hill in these. It was like totally comfortable and just like really forgiving if I were to step wrong like my foot wasn't twisted and stuff and then the memory foam insoles were amazing. I felt like I was walking on clouds um, <laughs> and I didn't get blisters at all the entire time so if you guys haven't picked these up and you need a cute pair of sandals for your next trip I can't even recommend them enough. Um, I think they have other colors too so I'll put a link below. Okay so these shoes that I took to Europe these are Nisolo Hirachis I think they're adorable and the reason I got them is because I wanted to put insoles in them. So I wore them one day without the insoles and my feet hurt. Um, but also to be fair, I had not had any time to break these in. So I initially got these in a size seven and a half because I'm a seven and I was reading the reviews and so I was like, oh, I'll just get a half size bigger, like that should be enough. But actually, I it wasn't enough and I had to return them and get an eight. But the eight fit me perfect. But by the time I got it, it was like right before my trip so I didn't have any time to break it in. So I think that if I were to wear these again, they would be more comfortable. So I had to put a band-aid on my heel when I wore them without the insoles. And then I put the insoles in and wore them and they were a lot more comfortable. Um, so yeah, I think they just needed some time and um, of course like having insoles and something if you have high arches like I do is definitely it helps. Okay, and then here is the other pair of shoes that I took on my trip, my Supergas and they're so filthy but I did wear them a lot and honestly they hurt like hell when I didn't have my insoles in also because I don't think that I had broken them in enough. Um, and they just they don't have like a lot of arch support in here and I just I have high arches so I need the arch support so when I did wear them with my insoles they were really comfy um my foot my heel d did like slide up a lot in here um I don't know if it's just the shape of my foot or if that's like normal for low tennis shoes I just like haven't worn low tennis shoes in a really long time because all of my tennis shoes are like high top Converse or high top Vans. So the heat, my heel never slips out of those because they're high tops. So maybe that's just how it is when you wear like shoes like this with the low heel. Um, I still recommend these and I still absolutely love these shoes. Um, when I have the insoles in them, they're great. And yeah, they're, they're breaking in nicely. I think I could probably um, wear these a lot longer now than I could initially the first time. So really cute. I'll put them in the link below. So that's everything. I am well aware that I did a lot of shopping on my Europe trip. Not only the vintage items, but all of this new stuff that I just showed you guys. And so I just felt like this is a great opportunity to do a massive closet sale. The only way that I can think of to do this is through Instagram. So if you're interested in purchasing some of my old clothes and you don't have an Instagram, if you want, you can always just create a Instagram account just for this occasion and then delete it afterwards. I mean, it's free to join. So my closet sale, I'm going to be selling a ton of stuff, even stuff that you guys I have worn in recent videos. So if you liked any of it, you might want to watch on Sunday. I'm going to be doing it at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So on the East Coast, that would be like 5 o'clock p.m. on Sunday. If you miss it at that time, I'm going to save all of the items that I'm selling in my highlights. So far, I think I have like 30 items ready to go up and I have a ton more. So I'm just going to try to get through as much as I can. The way that it'll work is basically the item will go to the first person who direct messages me their PayPal email and once I send you the invoice, the one who pays it first. I'm going to post more details about the closet sale on my Instagram as far as like shipping and you know how all of that's going to work. So make sure to head over there, Tiny Acorn, to check it out. And yeah, I really just wanted to clear out some old stuff make room for some new stuff and I wanted to share these pre-loved items with you guys first 
because I know that you will give them a good home. Thank you guys so much for watching and just for supporting me. I can't thank you beautiful people enough. You're amazing. If you liked this video, make sure to like it, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye! <laughs>